Chickens, a barnyard musical, is running at the Empress Theater from May 21st through to the 30th. Director Aaron joins us all about this very exciting show. So let's talk about chickens. What is the storyline behind this? It sounds very, very interesting. I know, it's not real chickens. <laughs> um, the story sets place on a southern Albertan farm. And uh, it's the story of two farmers, a farmer and his wife. And uh, they're going through struggles that a married couple goes through and money and keeping the family farm alive. It's handed them from generations and they want to, uh, want to keep it going and uh, they're having troubles. So um, Pal, the farmer, decides to invest in chickens. So he buys one chicken, then he has to find another one to, uh, to maybe breed her with. Doesn't turn out to be, to work, work so great right off the bat. And then uh, he gets a, a rooster, another rooster given to him. Then a, another um, jailbird falls uh, onto the farm. So these four chickens tell the story, they narrate and tell the story of of the farmer and their wife through their struggles as well. And I mean, these chickens are constantly scared of getting the ax and what happens to chickens really. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a very endearing story. The farmer and the wife fall in love with the chickens and they, and they became like their pets. So, and they sing and they dance and they talk about Alberta. And the, it's just, it's really, it's really heartwarming. It's poignant, but it's also hilarious. Hey, this sounds like, like a, a knee slap for that's for <laughs> sure. Um, and I feel like this is very appropriate for, for our area. I mean, like you said, very relatable, I mm -hmm. think. Um, and it's also, maybe that's what makes it so relatable. It was produced right here in this province. Yes, it was written by Lucia Frangioni and Royal Sproul, which were both students at Rosebud School of the Arts back in the day. Uh, Chickens just celebrated its 20th anniversary. So um, this play's been around for a while, but it uh, is the first time we're doing it around this area. And I've always wanted to do it in, at the Empress Theatre for years since I first saw it. Uh, it just speaks to rural Albertans. It speaks to the heart of the community. It speaks to Alberta as a whole. So it's it's just it's perfect for this area and it's perfect for anybody to come to. Now the music, Erin, is a huge aspect of the show as well. Yes, it's uh, it's different from any other musical I've ever done because it features uh, bluegrass music, country music, rock, blues. It's way different than your normal standard musical. And we have a full band on stage. So we have our pianist. We have a stand-up bass, we have a banjo player, a lead guitar player, and drum, uh, drums. So it's, it's really full and the singers are amazing. Really getting down to the roots with that music. Mm -hmm. And uh, you might recognize some people on stage if you come and check out the show. Absolutely. We have a, a fully local cast uh, with um, people from Clairsholm and Pincher Creek. And uh, I mean, we have our uh, the elementary school principal is, the, is in the band. I think the whole family will enjoy this one. Where can people get tickets, Erin? Uh, Empress Theatre, um, you can go to the office at 553-4404, uh, or you can come right downtown and talk to Margaret Ann, or you can go on the website, mcleodempress.com. I think you got to see this, see how these how this plays out with these chickens. Thanks yeah. so much, Erin, for joining us. We really appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. That is Chickens, running at the Empress Theatre from May 21st through to the 30th.